Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with some more Tinkercad fun. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to start on my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got the Tinkercad tab with all the amazing categories. Below that, you'll find my day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scooch down just a little further, you will find my class, Tinkercad, in 20 days. It is on cadclass.org. There is also a coupon code, 25HLTinkercad. This video explains everything, and you can use this link to visit in minutes. Our project today is going to start with one of the category buttons, friends. We are going to click Design to Print. The one I want you to find is the free print in place robot. So this robot is set to copy and tinker. Just remember the golden rule of Tinkercad before you copy and tinker, give a reaction. So if you've watched any of my videos, you may know that I am a Detroit Lions fan. That's why I've got the colors built for this. And then also you've seen techniques where I make keychains. So this space is left open for you to add a logo or anything you want. If you click on these parts and choose ungroup, of course, then you can change the words to anything that you want. Just when you're done, you will need to regroup it. I'm going to hide this real quick and show you something cool. Check out this pin. You can see that I have locked it. That way you can't, that way you cannot accidentally cut the pin and break the robot. Now we can easily click on those words. Notice if you're having trouble grabbing them, you can simply hide that block for a moment. Now we can click on that and change it to whatever we want. I'm going to actually make this say mod tech. So there is the word tech. I'm going to click on that and do control D to make another one. And then control up arrow to lift the new one up. Get it to the spot I want. And then I'm going to double click and change that to mod. If I do show all, all those parts reappear. I want to lower that down just a hair. I'm going to hide this again because it's so much easier to grab. I'm going to click on the tech and I'm going to change my nudge to 0.5. Now when I do control down, I can get that spacing the way I want. To regroup it, I'm going to quickly switch to flat view, look at it from the top, click on this part that I don't want to group and hide it. And now I can easily grab all these, although I do want to show you that one's locked. That way the pin always stays separate. Select them and do control G to group. It does take a moment, but soon enough, we'll have our mod tech. Once again, T shuts off transparent. And of course, you can pick the color that you want. I'm going to real quickly change this as well. This time, let's see if we can double click. Yes, we can. I've got the word one. I'm going to make it taller. And over here, I'm just going to make it HL. Now, because I was editing, when I click somewhere else, bingo, that is modified. So what happened here was I changed the groups where this was a nested group. Now we can just double click and modify because it's a single group with all the changes already in place. Let's quickly add something to his chest as well. This is called the work plane tool. You can also use the letter W for work plane. And then you can bring out a piece of text. And then I'm going to put the word YouTube out here. And then because it's huge, I am going to use Alt Shift Scale. So I'm holding Alt and Shift and I'm shrinking it down so it fits. I'm going to type the number 17 and it'll scale in. It also flipped it. I don't know why it did that, but I can easily mirror it back. And now we can move it to the exact size that we want using the awesome black handles. Notice if you use one of the white handles, it changes two directions at once. That's why I always recommend the black handles. Of course, you can get it back the way you want with Control Z. Once you're happy, double check the thickness. I'm going to make it one. And then I'm going to shift select the belly, choose L for a line. And I want to make sure the blue one is the boss and it's in the middle. And let's see what it looks like in the middle here. I don't really like that. I will switch to look at it from the front. And I'm just going to use the up arrow to move it where I want. I'm also going to turn perspective mode back on. And that, I think, is pretty 
darn awesome. Let's quickly do show all to bring back all of my parts so I can make sure everything is grouped. I do not need to group this when it goes to the slicer. It'll work fine. I'm also going to hit T to shut off transparency. One final step. Let's pick a color that fits our project just because that's kind of cool. Friends, let's do another fun mod. Notice in the back it says built for this. Once again, because of the way I grouped this, you can simply double click and change the words. Instead of built for this, I'm going to type let's get cracking. There's my let's and my get. I'm going to click down on the bottom one and type cracking. And then I can zoom in. F is for fit view. Find the little black handle and get it lined up exactly the way I want. You can also shift select those three items. Notice it says three shapes and you can do L for a line. Once again, make the blue on the boss and make sure they're centered. When you click somewhere else, after just a moment, it cuts in. All right, friends, we've got one more mod and I want to just show you a setting. First, I'm going to put the color back to the default. That is where we typically build from and I also want to turn on the grid. Friends, we're going to quickly fix an issue. I have found with my newer clipper printers that this breaks free and then does not print correctly. Friends, let me show you a super simple fix. Bring out a cube. Let's do shift shrink. Type the number one and press enter. Make sure your nudge is set to 0.5. Zoom in a little bit and we just want to stretch this out using the black handles. I'm going to make it two millimeters this way or two and a half. And then I also want to make sure it's only a half millimeter tall. So I'm going to type 0.5. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. We simply want to get it to that pin. I'm going to do F to fit view now. Back up another click. And we just want to make sure it touches both those walls. Get it as close to the middle as you can. We do not want it to stick into this part. We just wanted to touch that wall and that wall. Then I'm going to click on it and do control D, shift nudge, shift nudge to move it to the other side. Once again, making sure that we don't run into the leg, but we do run into that center. That part right there is going to keep it from breaking free. When it's finished printing, we'll simply snip those off with those little cutters that come with almost every 3D printer. Before I close out, I do want to show you something kind of cool. If we hide this, you can take a peek inside to see the mechanisms where these sloped angles allow this to print and yet still have gaps so that it can move in every direction. Don't forget you can also ungroup all these to see the simple parts that were combined to make the epic mechanism. That looks a little more ready for YouTube. I also want to let you know these holes are the size to put filament in. So when you're done, you can also add little red eyes. To send your project to your 3D printer, you simply select it and you choose export. I always choose an STL. After a moment, I can save it. I always put mine in my 3D modeling folder and I'm going to call it the HLMT YouTube Print and Place Robot. I already have that name, so I'm just going to tell it yes and save it again. Let's wrap up by changing the name up here. I'm going to backspace, make it HLMTYT for YouTube as well. Let me show you how you can share this easily with the world. If you click back on your Tinkercad desktop, you can click the gear, choose the properties. You can, of course, add an awesome description. It's super cool. Also, if you include a link to the tutorial or even a link to the free robot, of course, add some tags, and if you want me to see what you made, simply add the HLMT23 tag. I check that tag almost every day, and of course, I will give you a reaction. Finally, set your design to public. Of course, prove you're not a robot. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because instead of copying my project, I'd rather have you come up, follow the tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Lastly, hit save changes. All right, so our next step is to enter Bamboo Studio. I'm going to add that file. I'm going to open my Detroit Lions one that I like even more. You can see that this has the logo on the belly, and you can also see those pins I added so that it will not spin. Friends, I did go into the paint, and I painted this whole little fella. It ended up taking seven hours to print. 
I'm not willing to invest that much time into this cute little print. I would instead rather see just how quickly the printer can handle it. I'm going to start with slice plate. I am just using the standard 0.2 profile. I'm going to use some generic PLA. When we switch to print plate, notice it thinks that PLA is an A3. That is not correct. It is really an A1. And now I'm going to send it to the printer. Of course, after a moment, we get to the device menu. And when you hit play, you'll be able to monitor the project from afar. And 50 minutes later, we've got an adorable little robot. Real quickly, this is the Lions version. I'll make a video showing how to fix those heads in a bit. I did love the colors, but oh my gosh, seven hours to wait versus 50 minutes just isn't worth it. Do you have to break off that one? But as you can see, they bend in every direction. Let me show you how to clip off those little bottom things. Simply snip and twist. And snip and twist. Bingo. Now our head moves every way just like you'd expect it to. Totally built in Tinkercad. Totally fun. And I hope you have a blast making your own and modifying them. Friends, as I wrap up, let's check out my website one more time. Of course, I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad. Tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, you'll also find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Also, don't forget the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.